types of change, types of change from an equation. So if we have something like this, y equals mx plus b, the type of change is a constant change. Put a few blank pages under this. This would be an arithmetic sequence if the change is constant. This is the type of problem in an algebra class. They might have said linear function. In fact, what's the slope on this one? M. And if you're looking at the equation and you just say, somebody said, what type of change is this by looking at the equation? Notice this. All variables <coughs> are raised to the first power. As I wrote that, I don't like the way that came out. How many variables are in this problem? Y equals MX plus B. See, that's what I was thinking. Actually, when we look at that, we think two. M and B, well, it goes back to our use of variables. M and B are holding the place of constants in this problem. And these are things maybe I wouldn't necessarily expect you to grab onto. Maybe you've grabbed onto it at this point and all, with all the math you've taken, but usually letters near the end of the alphabet are considered variables. Letters toward the beginning, like in a calculus class, would be considered constants. They're holding the place of constants. And in this problem, M is holding the place of what? The slope, which is the change, which in this problem would be constant. So when I, when I wrote all variables are raised to the first power, maybe what I should have said is this. X and Y are raised to the first power. So if you're given an equation on the final exam and it says what type of change is this? Look to see if there's exponents on the variables, on the x and the y. Here's another type of change. Let me, oh, let me put here linear change. So that's our answer. If it says what type of What type of change? change? Linear. Change? You could say constant for this one. But I would be probably looking for linear. Good question. Okay, here, this one's quadratic change or a quadratic function. So let me not call it quadratic change, but quadratic function. Anybody remember what the equation of a quadratic function looks like? X squared. X squared. Thank you. Yes, indeed. X squared. And the general form might be ax squared plus bx plus c. a, b, and c are holding the place of constants. So there are two variables in this problem. Uh, 
two variables in y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Because x is raised to the second power, <laughs> it is a varying rate of change, and it's quadratic. What identifies something as quadratic? Let's put a little arrow there. Quadratic, um, look for one of the variables to be raised to the second power. In fact, two is the highest exponent that shows up. Two is the, and I, all the exponents are positive integers on the x's or whatever is raised to the power. Two is the highest exponent. That makes something quadratic. So on the final, if there's a box of little equations and it's a matching or something or identify the type of problem, if x is squared, quadratic. This change is a varying change. On the problem that we did last week, that was the area of one face. Building cubes, area of one face was a quadratic change. Okay, the other type 